Hey guys, Ali here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a really traditional Persian restaurant. There's some really, really cool food here. Little bit of a hidden gem. Guys, it's a little bit noisy out here. I'm just outside on the road. So I'm gonna go inside now, super quick, and show you the food. All right guys, so I'm inside. I quite like the look of the inside. I'm actually sat at the front of the restaurant now at three o'clock. It's currently one o'clock, about three o'clock. They actually open the, the, the of the back of the restaurant that the seating area there is actually really 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 cool can't show you that today because it opens at three i'm here at one but it still looks really really cool inside had a look at the menu ordered a couple of things so oops sorry it's a bit loud uh, i've ordered a mixed um, like grill type thing so i've got a kabita some chicken some lamb in there we've gone for a braised lamb shank as well i've got like a a little star not a, not a big one today and i've got something which i've never heard of before actually so if you guys have heard of these then please let me know what it is it's called abides can you guys see that what that is i've not had it before i did ask the waiter did explain it to me it sounds really tasty but honestly don't know what to expect i've never had it looking forward to trying that so like i said ordered all of the food just waiting for it to come out now whilst i am waiting guys if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button i've got a ton of videos planned like the best burger in manchester for example i've got the best caribbean food in manchester i've got some stuff for london uh, in the works as well so if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button but anyway, let's wait for the food to come out so I can start this review. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with a little snack, really. This is a, a cool looking little dish. I'm not gonna try and pronounce it without reading it off my phone, because uh, I don't wanna offend anyone out there. So it's a kashka e badam june. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm pronouncing that well. So this is a cooked, uh, smoked aubergine, sort of crushed up really, not quite pureed like a baba ganoush. It's still got some chunkiness there. You can still see the aubergine. So the aubergine's still got a little bit of its own integrity. There's a little bit of whey on there, and there's also some nuts to add a little little bit of a crunch. This is served with a large fresh baked portion of bread. It's nice and warm. Let's try this. I like that you can actually, actually the texture of the aubergines, you can obviously taste the aubergines, but texture really, really adds to taste for me. I love the clear way. Clearway. <laughs> if you guys have followed my Instagram, you know what I think about Clearway, I love that stuff. I like the whey on top of actually the aubergine. Then the nuts add a little bit of crunchiness, add a little bit of texture as well. So texturally, that's really, really good. This is a nice little starter. I'm just now waiting for my mains. Guys, I've actually just moved. You might have noticed some lag in my camera. If there's any techies actually on my channel, sometimes when the lighting isn't like super natural, there's not a lot of like natural light coming in, it gets a little bit laggy. If anyone on my channel is like a techie, let me know why that actually is. But anyway, like I said, <laughs> now that's done, let's get on with the food review. Just wait now for my mains. Right guys, so I'm gonna start with the mixed grill for one. This has got a, a kabita, it's got some grilled chicken, it's got some grilled lamb, Nice little side salad there, a tomato, and also something called a tachin, which I cannot wait to taste test this for you guys. So this is quite a traditional uh, Persian thing to have on the side of a meal. So this is made with yogurt, some basmati rice, some butter, and some saffron. Cannot wait to try that. And we've got some rice as well with a nice crispy top. So let's just get into that. I'm excited guys, I'm hungry. Let's go for the kabida first. Looks good, man. This looks really, really good. That's got a beautiful meaty taste. Seasoned really well. It's lamb, so it's obviously got quite a lamby taste, but it's not too sort of gamey. It's actually got a really, really subtle lamb taste running through that. That is one of the better kabitas I've had in Manchester. I am I'm really enjoying this. I don't want to gush over it too much because there's a lot of food to come, but that is lovely. A little bit of this rice with it as well, perfect now try the grilled marinated pieces of lamb which come with that mixed grill as well much softer than I actually thought it would be again flavored beautifully quite subtle flavoring I have to say but it's absolutely fantastic lamb is delicious pretty good portion of lamb there as well I do like the mixed grill for one because frankly you get a little bit of everything talking of everything I haven't actually tried the chicken so let me try that next i'm making an absolute mess this guys let me cut it properly it's so soft every time i run my knife through it the chicken just goes Blop. 
chicken breast can sometimes have a tendency, sometimes it can be easy to make it a little bit bland, can't it? But that is flavoured again beautifully. It's actually probably got the strongest flavour out of the three meats that I've had, but it's absolutely fantastic. Like I said, when I was trying to cut it to, to put some in my mouth, my knife was just falling straight through it, so really, really, really soft. Guys, really like this, but I want to move on because there's a ton of food to go through. I want to show you some of the more traditional foods here as well. But this is a great, great start. Right, so I've got two great mains in front of me. I've got a lamb shank, and I've got this thing which I mentioned earlier. Never had this before, called a beady. A beady, it's on the beady section of the menu. To be honest, never, ever, ever had that before. But let's try the lamb. As you can see, guys, this is marinated in their homemade tomato sauce. Slowly cooked lamb shank. Oh, that is soft. That is soft, look at that. Oh, wow. That is piping hot, super soft. It looks so good, I cannot wait to tuck into this, guys. It's just so, so soft, look at that. Let's give it a go. Really hot, really, really succulent. Massive portion size, actually, for the price as well, which will be linked in the description. Guys, this is one of their hay man dishes. Don't miss the lamb shank. Like I said, super succulent, really, really soft, lightly flavored. They actually use their own homemade tomato sauce as well, which is, you get a little pot of it on the side. So if you want more, you can just get the tomato sauce, pour it all over the rice, all over the lamb, all over your other dishes if you really want as well. It's really, really good, but the lamb is absolutely fantastic. All right, so moving on now to the tashin. Like I said before, this is really, really traditional. Often had uh, with a meal, maybe on like the side of rice, something along those lines, but made with some rice and saffron, some butter, uh, some yogurt. Let's give it, let's give it a go actually. Do I snap it in half with my hand or just like, Hmm. I've never quite had anything like that before. Not totally sure what to make of that. I've never had it really before. I think it might be nice with some like meat or something along those lines, but it's nice just to have something to bite alongside your meal, to be completely honest. <laughs> just one thing I want to mention actually, the rice on the side of the lamb shack is absolutely beautiful, guys. Have a look at this. It's got some barberries and it's also got some pistachio. Have a look at this, guys. That just looks really pretty, presented well. These have a little bit of tartness, a little bit of acidity that actually go really, really well with the, with the rice. Really, really like this. Right guys, let's take a look at this. Oh, let's get in there. There's a kabita there, some chicken there, some lamb there. That looks really, really good. Now moving on to this abidi, kind of the setup is similar to like a tagine, I guess. Lots of meat inside there, lots of sauces, some veg. It's kind of, I would imagine, cooked in this pot and steamed. It looks really good. They've got their own homemade tomato sauce in that as well, guys. Big fan of that. Try that. I've got the mixed grill, which has a little bit of everything. Kind of like the mixed grill for one, actually, that I had at the beginning, but just in this pot. Let's try it. That tomato sauce, man. I think, and I actually loved the first thing it had the mixed grill. I think I even prefer this because a lot of the same stuff, but actually cooked in this ceramic dish with their own sauce as well. A massive portion of rice with it. I think I actually probably prefer this. This is actually fantastic. The lamb was brilliant. The chicken. Succulent, soft. There's like a breath of spice coming through there as well, just a touch. That's really tasty. There's some chili in there as well if you do want those. Guys, this is such a delicious dish. Not forgetting the kabita that's in there as well. It's one of my favorite Iranian dishes, but absolutely fantastic. Can't forget that. I've actually come here a few times before. I've actually never, ever had this dish. I saw it on the menu. I thought, you know, I'm filming a review. Let's try something new. I'm glad I did because it's absolutely fantastic. So probably a good life lesson, actually. Try something new. You may like it. <laughs> okay, so my final thoughts. Really, really enjoyed my time here at Daba. Loved the food. Bit of a hidden gem, I would say. There's lots of great Iranian restaurants, Persian restaurants in Manchester. This one doesn't necessarily come up that often. However, it's really, really tasty. I really enjoy it. It's priced very well. It's very authentic. I would have loved to have shown you the back uh, part of the restaurant. Couldn't do that today, but hopefully next time. I'll leave all the details for this restaurant in my description. Do make sure to check it out. I do recommend it. I think it's really, really good. And I've got to try some new stuff today. So that's always a good day. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already liked the video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, and I'll see you guys in that next video. Bye, 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 bye